Great time to be out here with the fair and everything. Great time to be up front. We got that drag race down in the corner again again. Last time, just a grin. Scooped out across the racetrack. This time a holder down on the inside. C.J. Leary still ready and waiting for the number six car. Grant able to out muscle him, or is he out of turn number two? Two great veterans side by side down the back straightaway. It looks like C.J. Leary with a bit of advantage. We'll see how that plays out going into three. Yeah, it's still the 24 car sliding into P3. Now he's got company out of Davey Ray on the inside. Coons up on the high side, watches that eight car work the low line. Tucked in tight to the guardrail. Ray will slide into third on the field, coming out onto the front chute. Davey Ray, who had such a great run in Springfield, what it would mean to him and to this team to get a Silver Crown win. But here comes Justin churning on the bottom. Yeah, still down on the inside, locked in side-by-side tussle up ahead. Meanwhile, Logan Seavey finding speed back behind, just blew around the 24 car, now sets his sights on Davey Ray. Seavey, your national points leader, looking for a championship here this year, has got a good run into that P4 spot. Under siege indeed as he'll race down into the corner. Ray breaks to the inside. Pokes the nose down low, looks for the line. He'll run it deep, clip the guardrail. He clips C.J. Leary. Both cars maintain. That could have went horribly awry. Oh, that absolutely could have gone awry. Now C.J. looks like he sits up in the saddle and wants to get back on the eight machine as soon as possible. He wants that so bad he can taste it, can't he? He does. That's I mean, a... just the opportunity to lead the race will be big and see what happens there. That move created an opening, and C.J. Leary said, Thank you, I'll walk right through there. It did, he popped up off the bottom. Leary quick to capitalize for the number six car. Moves in a second on the field now. No runner deep down into the corner. And right now he's trying to take off the number 22 car. And take him out as he rolls down the front. Straight away there's a the move to the inside. Damn. Got him, deep down into turn number one. That's loose down low, he'll swing out wide. CB was waiting on, he's right back to the inside. And here comes Cockrum in the 97 car. Oh, this is fun, because Cody still has some momentum. He had calculated and plotted that move, and he's going to come again at him in turn number three. We are wheel to wheel. CV trying to let him slide on through, looking to turn it back down to the inside the second time. It's not going to happen. Swanson made it stick. That first time may have been setting him up for the move at turn number three, because Cody Swanson has now picked up the number four spot. Boy, Shane is just starting to work towards towards the gate machine. Oh, well, good battle. Pretty crazy looking back here at Logan CV. You see where he's running along. The 22 car running eighth on the field. Not really able to get in the mix. And here comes the mix. Down the inside. Bold move around Davey Ray for the 97. Cody Swanson utilizes that as well. He'll slide on through. And Ray goes from third to fifth real fast. Good run by CJ to the back straightaway. And that's what Leary needs to do. Put a lot of pressure on Justin Grant, the 91 car. Down into the corner. Grant runs her a little deeper than CJ. CJ got out of the throttle, sets himself up for an inside line. Grant lets it sweep up across the race track. Works out well for the 91. Little bobble coming out. Turn number four as he shows a little weakness. Now CJ down on the inside is going to get Cockrum to the outside. Shane Cockrum muscles into P2. Down to the inside for the field. Cockrum is going to get passed by the wayside. Yep. CJ Leary was set up for that one for the number six. Got the door propped open. Swanson not close enough to get in there. But working. If oh, able to Justin close got way high at three and four. Yeah. Way high. Interesting to see what's transpiring here for the 91 car. If he missed his marks, a little slip of the grip. Justin Graham, but that was the first weakness we've seen out of Hemelgard number 91. As they take the white flag, it's their final trip into Coy. Hustles it down into the corner of the Hemelgarn Racing, Noss Energy Drink Super Fitness, Hemelgarn Enterprises, 91, beats two more corners. Try to win for the second time on a mile racetrack, one in Springfield, looking for his fifth overall win in this series. He has a keen sense of racing history, he has a remarkable story, and it looks like he's got a straightaway to get it done. Now to turn number four he comes. Justin Grant looking to pick up his first win of the year. And he'll and win. That's in the air. Jimmy Bryant style. There you go. The Ted Horn 100 goes to JG. Justin Grant. Well, he's got her parked in victory lane. Yet again is up and out of the race car he comes. Make some noise for Justin Grant. This is getting to be old habit for him. We'll send it down with Christy.
I'm starting to write his name so much on that check, I might start signing my own with his name. Justin Grant picks up his first career Ted Horn 100 here at the Magic Mile at the DeCoin State Fair. His first win with the USAC Silver Crown Champ Car Series of the 2023 season. It's been a long road to hoe. They've had a couple of really difficult nights, really bad luck, fast race cars that just didn't have the results to show for it. And he parks it in victory lane here as we wind down the season. Not in it for points at this point in the year, but the win makes it all that much more special. So he pulls it up in victory lane, which might have been the hardest part of the whole day, and Justin gets some perfect, beautiful laps in as the laps were winding down there. Got a little crooked there coming out of three and four. What got out from underneath you? Uh, yeah, there on the restarts, like like you could when you got running and the tires were hot, and I think the track would get hot and cleaned up. You could you could kind of move move around a little bit, but on the restarts, if you weren't right on the rail, it was really slick. And I went I went smoking down in there, and I thought like I thought I was okay. Like I went through one and two, and I felt pretty stuck. And I, I hustled down into three and four. I was like, oh, way too soon for that. Sliding across there. Fortunately, we had a we had such a good uh, NOS Energy drink, Himmelgarn Enterprises, uh, Super Fitness. Uh, Nick Bohannon, uh, 91. It was um, it, the car was awesome. I'm I'm super fortunate here lately. Like everything I get in is just an absolute rocket ship, and uh, just just having a ton of fun. Thanks to uh, thanks to Ron Himmelgarn, Nick Bohannon. Uh, it's his engine in this car, and uh, Roger, Dennis Lakava, Jason, uh, BK spots for me, my good buddy, and uh, he did a heck of a job today. And you know, Lauren Albano with Nos Energy Drink. I can't say enough. Right? She she makes uh, a lot of this possible for me. So. Uh, thanks to everybody that, that, that lets me do this. My wife, Ashley at home, Bubba, Charlotte, Brogan, uh, miss you guys. And uh, I'm just, man, I'm just, uh, things are awesome right now. And, and I'm just uh, super, super fortunate for everybody that's behind me and the, uh, the race cars I get to sit in. It's no secret that this was a slick racetrack today. And that's the way we like it for the champ cars. How much did it benefit you to be able to be out front and set the pace for that race? Yeah, I think it was. I think it was really big. Like it wasn't. It wasn't easy to pass. I don't think. Just the straightaways were so dirty and, and kind of narrow. Um, I felt like I pushed pretty hard there the first couple laps to get back around CJ because I, I wanted to be kind of on the point of this deal and and uh, make them try and get by me. You know, because it just didn't seem like it lended itself to a lot of options. The guy was going to have to make a mistake. And um, when you're racing with these guys, they're all so good. These mistakes are pretty few and far between. Justin Grant wins his first career Ted Horn 100 at the DeCoin State Fair.